Business Week weekend. From the editors of America's number one business magazine, this is Business Week weekend. Coming to you from the crossroads of the world, Times Square. Welcome to Business Week weekend. I'm... And then later in the show, affordable luxury. Live like the other half for a fraction of the price. We'll tell you how when Business Week weekend returns. Don't go away. In yes. And later on, affordable luxury. If you have champagne taste but a beer budget, we'll show you how to shop. All this when Business Week weekend continues. Stay with us. Up next, if you think of Target as de classe, think again. It's not. It, along with many other retailers, are providing customers with affordable luxury these days. We'll take you on a shopping trip when Business Week weekend continues. And welcome back. Retail sales are expected to grow as much as 5% this holiday season. The luxury market is increasing at twice that rate, according to market research group NPD. Many low- and mid-level outlets are hoping to share the wealth by carrying luxury items without the luxury price tag. A lot of shoppers this season are looking for style on a budget, and they should have no trouble finding it. The most interesting trend that we see is all about trickling down in affordable fashion and taking high-level design and bringing it into a space or a location or an avenue where the average consumer can also enjoy that trend. So for Retail example, consultants see, Tina Hedges and Beth Ann Catalano say affordable luxury is hot for the holidays. One of the pioneers of the trend is Target. The company first contracted architect Michael Graves to design housewares. They then hired Isaac Mizrahi to create a low-cost fashion line. It's been a huge success, and other designers are following Mizrahi's lead. So the first item that we love are these bags from Rafi. And what we really think are special about them, although they are a little bit pricey, if you go to you know, the Rafi store in Bleecker and Bowery in New York or in Select Bloomingdale's, they're about $400 to $500. But again, this is a great on-the-mark trend because Rafi also has done an exclusive collection for Target. The bags run between $20 and $50 at Target, if you can find one still in stock. Payless Shoes is getting into the action, too, carrying a new line by Abayate. It's a brand by an up-and-coming, emerging fashion designer in New York. And she's really been seen on the runways, and all the fashionistas wear her clothes. And this is what Payless is doing, and that's why we call it democratizing fashion, because they are looking for emerging talent and making it available to everyone in the country. That's a lovely thing. So really, visit the Pay Less Shoes store. And everything is under $40. That's a good deal when designer shoes run into the hundreds, even thousands of dollars. Besides clothing, another way of indulging on a budget, small accessories. What's on the runways, that's what everyone wants to see. Hot off of the Prada runway in the last season was headbands. And we love these ones which come from Eva Scrivo. She's a hot stylist in New York. She just won Allure's Best Of for her salon in New York City. And it's available on her website, evascrivobeauty.com, and it's about uh, $40, 40 to $85. That may sound like a lot for a headband, of course, but it allows you to afford something designer if that's what you're looking for. And small treats like body oil and makeup always make good stocking stuffers. At Sephora, makeup artist Lynn Lynch says the trend is glamour. So sparkle in the false eyelashes, you have everything from really super glimmery, like these right here. These are beautiful. They make you look like you have tinsel on your lashes, which I love. And if you're not into that look, you can also have a, a slightly different look here. These are lined with glitter. They run about $18 for the deluxe kit, $8 for refills, and they complete that fashion model look after you put on your own discount designer duds. And when it comes to affordable luxury, all the big chains have taken action. Walmart introduced its own high fashion label, Metro 7, last year, which didn't do so well. They've had more success with a line called George by designer Mark Eisen. It's a little less cutting edge and more classic than some of the designs from Target. Now, JCPenney also has a couple designer brands, including one by Nicole Miller, and the president of the company credits these brands with helping to spark sales and update the store's image. Even Kohl's is on the fashion bandwagon with a Vera Wang collection coming out next year.